Hello, I'm Petrock Trelawney. I'm presenting In Tune this afternoon on Radio 3 and the first night of the proms at 7.30. It's lunchtime now, just gone one o'clock, outside the Royal Albert Hall, and actually the proms queue's not enormous at the moment. I think a lot of people were put off because of the torrential rain that we got here in central London earlier on. However, the sun is shining now. Lots of people have marked their spots in the queue. And I think by sort of four or five o'clock, we'll have a long stream of people snaking their way down the south steps. Now, I got here at about 10 o'clock this morning, and it was wonderful walking into the Royal Albert Hall uh, for the first time in, well, 10 months since I was last here. A lovely smell of fresh paint in the air. They've taken the opportunity to spruce up the walls and the ceilings, so big uh, jars of Royal Albert Hall blue and Royal Albert Hall red and green everywhere. I also took an opportunity to look at the flowers lining the front of the stage. Very interestingly, the flowers themselves are false, but the grass that surrounds them is real. I think that's rather mysterious. Have a look for yourself on the TV coverage later on and see if you can work out what's false and what's real. Uh, Jerzy Bielaklavik welcomed the orchestra uh, back to the Royal Albert Hall. BBC Symphony Orchestra have got a dozen proms across the season. They were also welcomed by Roger Wright, director of the proms, and Tim Davey, big boss of us all, director of BBC Radio Music. And he said how important the proms were to the BBC, how important the symphony orchestra was to the BBC. So, really exciting start to the morning. Lots of kissing going on. The Lebecks kissing Jerzy Bielaklavik and Stephen Huff kissing the Lebecks and Eilish Tynan kissing Jerzy Bielaklavik and all that sort of thing. I think we're in for a great day, and I'll be reporting again a bit later on from the Royal Albert Hall and from our Intune OB across the road at the Royal College of Music. See you later.